Welcome to Spears Computer World as we review the Zara Web Designer 11 Premium. And here, as you can see, we have opened up the uh, Web Designer uh, interface. Uh, and also, one thing you'll note here before you get started, Zara likes to uh, prompt a community uh, screen here that lets you uh, see the resources that you have. You're able to connect with them on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, YouTube, and then you have all of these resources as far as sites for experts who have um, pretty much become gurus in using this software. And so, trust me, you will find a lot of tutorials, um, offers, um, you know, feature artists. You'll be able to connect in a community that will get you the help that you need in order to be able to design that website that you want. So, we're going to kind of jump into it. A lot of people may want to know well, what is our web designer? They have several products that are very useful. And this one is one that I started using. Um, I was by uh, nature a, a computer science in my undergrad uh, major and minored in mathematics. But um, after some uh, soul searching, I decided to just go full mathematics major and I still had to take some computer science courses. That's when I fell in love with uh, kind of, you know, the HTML um, side of coding and web design. That was my passion uh, for technology and such. So um, one thing I did learn was some coding. Um, so I'm able to go into code. Of course, you don't want to reinvent the wheel, but if you have to, that's a good uh, tool to have under your belt, the ability to um, code in HTML and now CSS, um, you know, three or whatever. So you want to be able to have it under your belt. But if you're looking for something to kind of get you through uh, to where you're a visual person, you're a person that needs to see uh, what you're doing and you're not too much worried about the code, then uh, what you see, what you get. Uh, HTML program is what you need and most programs what they're able to do is output HTML code um, that will allow you to be able to export that code and then if you need to edit it and it's something like notepad plus plus you'll be able to do such a thing so enough of me talking I'm gonna jump right back into it so first if you're a designer now I'm naturally I'm not a designer I'm more on the technical side the code guy but when it comes to visual help, sometimes I need it. So most of my sites, when it comes to visualization, I have to look at other um, designs as far as structure, as far as, okay, if I want to have, um, think of it as interior decorating um, on how you want everything inside to look. So uh, here I put like a header uh, that I made here just by simply dragging um, a rectangle across the board. And I'm going to delete that right now. Um, and I'm just going to show you, this is a review, but I'm just going to kind of show you what the things you can do. You can go here in your design gallery. Now, if you're like me and you need a little inspiration, of course, you can go in and already get a website that's already done. That's already filled with content. You may see a uh, website that you feel is ideal for what you are trying to design. And so once this finishes downloading, uh, we'll jump right into it. Let's see. So I need to install some, some open source there. Let's see. Boom. We'll do that. Let that do its thing. But in the meantime, I'll kind of show you some more things that you can do. Okay. So one thing here you'll see is that you're able to um, pull up that design from that particular um uh, design or that template and so here you see that I have everything that you need and say you just want to kind of preview it to see how it's going to look before you get started trying to see if this the way this design how it's going to look on my browser so uh Zara they have put in a internet explorer preview browser here so that you can kind of see okay this is how my website is going to look you're able to see okay if there's some things you want to change You'll be able to do it. You'll be able to kind of toggle between each individual um, type store. You have a news um, page. One thing to note here, if you're looking for a content management system such as WordPress, Azara um, doesn't have one in terms of you able to. Um, it's not like WordPress, but one thing I'll touch here in a few minutes, I'll show you uh, what you'll be able to do is your clients will be able to update this content in previous editions and this is one thing I'm excited about uh, is that you would design a website in Zara the software and then you would have to uh, pretty much download the software if you had an extra license 
for that client. Now, if you're a person that has several clients, think of the number of licenses that you would have to do, uh, give to that clients or clients. And so that client will have to install this software. You would then have to send them the, uh, dot web file extensions to be able to, uh, change this content. But now Zara has come out with a cloud solution that we'll show you here in a minute. And so that's one of the, um, few things that I am really excited about. And so as you can see, you don't have to go back and reinvent the wheel. Uh, Zara, they set it up so nicely for you to be able to do those things on your own. So uh, in the design uh, menu here or gallery, you'll be able to see uh, a lot of templates here that you're able to use. If you see a template there that you're not uh, pretty much satisfied with, they do have a uh, template pack that you can go and purchase. Um, you can do the same thing here with the widgets as well. But me personally, I think that with the premium version, you get, you already get a lot of information, a lot of resources off the bat. You're able to go, um, and also preview some of the, uh, business things that they may have as well, which you'll have to, uh, purchase, purchase those. Another thing you'll be able to delight it to see is that you have different arrows and smart shapes that you'll be able to use. And let me add this is Zara is not only a web uh, design, uh, you know, software, it can replace, in my opinion, your uh, Photoshop, um, you know, any editing software that you have as far as your media is such as pictures. You can take out backgrounds on this. Now, if you want some heavy lifting, they do have other softwares that's able to just focus on a particular uh, area of expertise for you. Say if you are a photographer that wants to uh, focus more so on your photography, they have a uh, special software to do that. But this web designer uh, 11 premium is a mix of um, kind of all in one, if you will, but it's, it's only two. It has its limitations. I'll put it like that. So you don't get everything, but you have enough to get the job done. And I like that. And you have different text panels and you have, you know, other, um, type, uh, stickers and, um, whatnot that you can put, you know, on your site to give it that, um, edge that you might be looking for. And so, one thing that's one thing that I enjoy about using the software. Now, if you're a person that likes to do different presentations, you'll be delighted to know that they have different uh, presentations uh, that you can uh, components that you can set up photo transitions that you can put in uh, listed items. So you can use uh, this as a presentation tool too. You don't have to use it only to do website designs. You can use it to uh, make that uh game changing uh presentation to a group of uh people that you're trying to sell something for your job your boss may be delighted to see of uh, these things and may even say hey what did you use to do that presentation with and you can let them know that you use zara web designer 11 and they'll be delighted and may want to give that a try another thing we'll look at here is the, are the page elements one of my favorite deals here they have a couple of free um trial samples that you can use uh different buttons that you don't have to go out and try to code yourself you can you can input these buttons or you can drag them in um to any spot that you want you can have it match the color thing uh that you have here so that's one thing that you can use let's go back to the design gallery navigation bar say you don't like the navigation bar that's already there you have a, a variety of selection of um navigation bars that you can choose from Let's see what else you have here. And most of these are pretty much uh, in earlier versions as well. You have photo elements and stuff like that. So you can put in different uh, slideshows, different uh, type of widgets to give your uh, site that edge. So you're able to go through a lot of things. You have photo clip art that's, uh, you know, that you're able to put in. One thing you'll you'll see here as it's in there, we'll see it's, it's a PNG. In other words, it has a transparent uh, background. You can see uh, that it's been uh, carefully maybe photoshopped, but it has that that transparent background that makes a, a website stand out. Uh, sometimes you'll see a website where it has that white background like you see here, um, and it doesn't really do the website justice. But when you're able to fit a, um, you know, an image into your website without a background but it fits neatly you know into what you're trying to do you know it just it just makes the website look much more professional and as you can see here I'm screwing things up but I'm just demonstrating and reviewing this uh, software for you
and then of course if you need inspiration for website backgrounds you have that um, let's see you able they have some uh, more content type uh, widgets that you're able to add um, text to those slideshows if you want to uh, describe a certain uh, feature or picture or photo that's in the slideshow you'll be able to do that as well um, you're able to of course we discuss text panels charts uh, even forms and the form selections you have you're able to sign up for jot forms and the thing about Zara is that you're able to uh, click on these sign up into your account if you have one and then once it generates that um, that code you're able to put in what they call a placeholder here and I'm going to kind of show you here what you can do so I put this square here I, I right click on it and then I'm able to go to my web properties and then from there I'm able to go to placeholder and then I can either replace that with flash if I have it I can replace it with a graphic file but if I want to go in and replace it with HTML most coding will have what snippet of code goes in the body what snippet of code goes in the head you're able to put that into there and it'll generate that form or any other kind of placeholder you may want to put in a uh, animation or something that uses some kind of code you'll be able to put that there and it will work for you so let's see here okay so if you are one that likes to sh you know to create your type of e-commerce or shopping online type of sites you'll be delighted to know that you can do set up your paypal cart and buy noun buttons view carts you have equit you're able to use that um wazala if i'm pronouncing it correct amazon associates you're able to use those so those are right out the gate and if you have any kind of other embeddable websites from other websites such as shopify or maybe um some other free e-commerce sites that allow you to embed your site your uh, online store into a, an existing site you'll be able to do that with a placeholder of some sort but they have uh, definitely built-in e-commerce uh, type solutions for you here and then audio you have your standard YouTube uh, daily motion flicker uh, Picasso albums and then magic they give you a certain amount of megabytes depending on if you have a free account or whatever to uh, host your pictures there and then what's the site without this social media you have your Google Plus bars here your Facebook uh, Twitter etc and then your website backgrounds let's see other widgets here your Google Adsense if you want to make money off your website your Google map your Bing, your Skype button uh, if you want to start a forum you can do those things there and then as you can see these other things are just different uh, gradient backgrounds header backgrounds clip art animated banners flash animation examples so you're able to do just that now the thing I want to uh, kind of bring out here uh, to show you here is one thing that I like and I'm delighted to share is that they have a solution to where you can of course upload your sites through FTP but one thing that I'm delighted here to show you is that they have a new uh, solution for you uh, to be able to um, upload your your site so you're gonna be able to um, you know go to Cloud Zara now you're going to be able to upload, excuse me, your site, you know, into Task Pilot. You'll be able to, uh, if you have an FTP, you'll be able to do that, and it'll load all your files so that you can get a display such as this. But if you want to hand over that site to a client who may want to have control over, you know, the site who may say, "Look, hey, Spirit's Computer World, we want you to decide to be able to make updates every day." so you are going to be able to uh, direct that client to cloud.izara.com which will be if you signed up now but if you want to wait I guess they may have some kind of subscriptions or there might be some uh, other type of packages that will offer in uh, 2016 so you might want to take uh, advantage of it now because it's going to be free and so after the break I'll show you more so what you'll be able to do here is sign in with, if you have an existing Zara account, if you have a Google Plus account, even you'll be able to load files from your Dropbox account and even from TaskPilot itself. And so I have a Zara account that I'll be able to load in.
And the premise of this is to be able to allow clients to be able to uh, gain access to the dot web files. And so they'll be able to go in and make any edits to images and text only. So they won't be able to mess with the design itself. That'll be up to you. Now, if you want to give them, uh, you know, a copy of the software and let them make changes, they can gladly uh, get a, a copy of the software by purchasing it. Or you may be able to work out something uh, with Zara to make sure it's okay to use one of your licenses because you're able to put it on two machines. And my daughter agrees. <laughs> so if you hear her, she's just uh, agreeing to what I'm saying. And so this allows you to go in and make those edits that you need. And so if you're looking for something um, that's more intuitive as far as if you're a design mind person, uh, Zara is the website. Uh, software for you but if you are more of a hardcore uh, programmer type person uh, you may want to stick with WordPress or Notepad++ and stick to your roots but if you're a person like I said that wants to be able to put their hands and see an immediate outcome of how it's gonna look and piece it all together then you'll be delighted with Zara Web Design 11 Premium um, to me out of a hundred I'm gonna give it an 80 just because of some limitations that you're not able to have one thing I would like to see in future versions is to be able to extend um, like for say a blog entry you'll have to kind of uh, finagle and create individual pages for that versus a CMS where it generates that page for you you don't have to do any extra work uh, as far as that and so that's the only limitation um, that you'll have in that regard and that's why I give it a score out of 80 out of 100 so um, this is Spears Computer World signing out and we hope you have been able to get something out of this review and of course in a future time we'll give you a more detailed kind of of our how to video this video is more of what this has to offer so Spears Computer World signing out